thanks everybody for viewing this video I would like to today talk to you about Commvault and creating client groups and wh now why do you create client groups what's the whole reason behind this some of the companies you may work for maybe you have large companies they have lots of clients they have one com serve let's say they need to be able to distinguish between a client in say Dallas or the West or Texas and let's say Florida so they need to be able to distinguish that they need to be able to specify what location it's in uh, quickly and maybe they need to pull a report to say uh, here's what's being backed up or um, here's some of the metrics for that that client that we're backing up and in doing so you know some of it becomes very unmanageable so the client groups are have are have make you available or have the ability to have you um, manage the environment more more easily for instance if we take a look at our com serve here so if you can look at my com serve I will click on it so I'm gonna open up the client computers click that real quick now we only have three clients here I have the, the course the com serve I have a uh, Windows client and then I have a Linux client however if you have an environment that has hundreds or possibly tens of hundreds maybe 500 clients that's gonna be very difficult to manage or even take a look at because imagine if you pull a report for those 500 clients and you're not able to distinguish between what is backed up or it's just a lot of things to look at so that's the reason we create client groups, client uh, computer groups. So I'll take a look. I'll show you what, what I mean when I say that. So I click on the client computer groups and I make it bigger. And I've already actually propagated a bunch of these already, the client groups. So let's take a look at one of them uh, I've already actually set up. So let's take a look at Dallas. So if I click on Dallas here, oh, I'm sorry, Dallas. I click on Dallas here you'll notice that I have the client in here ready now you might want to ask yourself well, how did you how did you get that there so what we do is when we set up the client group here I'll show you what I'm talking about right click on the client group right click on it right click on it right click on it right click right click you gonna right click for me no oh here we go it's kind of slow. Com server is kind of slow. Okay. And what I'm trying to show you is how to set it up, basically. Okay, here we go. So the group name, I'm going to call it Dallas Clients. And how um, how you want to set this up, if you have a bunch of servers, um, is you want to actually have it set up to where it's automatic, automatically associating uh, the clients. And typically what happens is in large environment large company what they'll have is they'll say in our case we have an airport code and our airport code is Dallas DAL and Dallas um, any server that's in Dallas goes here so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name I'm gonna on the client itself I'm gonna name the uh, client name Dallas DAL and what happens is when it's installed it automatically gets pushed to this this client group now it, it doesn't mean it's going to be backed up by this it's just a way to contain it or hold it um, so that other people can can look at it or you know again make it easier for reporting we're not going to set any of the um, we're not going to set any of the stores devices we don't set any of that stuff we're just gonna put the group name put the automatic association what are you trying to uh, what are you trying to look at or what, what's the scope we're trying to do all the clients in the com serve we're going to name the com serve there and um, match all. So the client name contains DAL dash and then uh, client name does not contain index server. Uh, we do that because we don't want to back up the um, index server when we create media agents. That's the reason for that. I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to create for you, I'm going to show you how to create this. Why well, I want to encompass all of these uh, sections let's say 
I want to encompass, I want to call it, an, I want to name an, a, an Asia group. So all of the clients in Asia. So we're going to right click on Client Computer's new client group and we're going to name it, we're going to call it um, Asia. Asia, Asia, okay, so that's there. And we're going to do uh, an automatic association, okay, do that. And then from here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do um, automatic association. We're going to do uh, clients, clients of user group, okay, clients of user group. Let's actually change that uh, to clients in the com cell, okay, com cell. And here we're going to say rule groups, right? So we're going to do, um, we're going to see if we can change this to uh, client groups, client groups, client groups, client groups, client groups, client groups, client groups. The intent was actually, uh, the intent was to just name the um, airport code basically and then it'll all fall in there, but I want to see if I can do, um, if I can add a client group. Okay, so associated client group, here we go. Okay, so associated client group, so uh, is equal to, let's do say Beijing, right? We'll go that one, um, associated, associated client group, uh, is equal to say um, let's see Beijing um, Ganju I think I'm, sp I'm thinking I'm saying it right Ganju and then Shenzhen because that's in uh, let's see yes Asia associated associated client group okay client group okay is equal to Shenzhen which is in uh, that's the Silicon Valley of China, by, by, the, by the way. If you've never heard of that, that's where all the, um, uh, you know, that's where all the computer stuff gets vetted and all the R&D, a lot of the R&D stuff. Well, let's actually rename this. Let's name this to, um, will that be East China? We'll do East China or East, how about East Asia? Yeah, East Asia, right? And we can add a couple more clients, but we're going to leave that for now. Um, we're going to leave it for now and we're going to push OK. OK. So what we see here is we push on view, 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 OK, refresh. Yeah, your com your comps are really should be beefy actually. I mean, um, you know, imagine I had, I had imagine I had clients here, how how long that would that would take to propagate. I think my comp server is like 8 gig or 10 gig of RAM, something like that. So if we look down here, we'll see East Asia. So there we go, East Asia. So we open that up, and then we're going to see all the other clients inside. The Beijing, um, the Gaozhou, the Hong Kong, or not Hong Kong, I haven't put Hong Kong in there yet. Uh, where is that at? Let's move this over. Over. Fresh and let's see, East Asia. Hmm, weird. Wonder why I don't see it there. I have to take a look at that. I should see it there for now, actually. I don't know why I don't see it there. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Maybe because I don't have clients in those. Um, let's do this. Let's create one that is, well, I've already created Midwest, right? So, Instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to edit the Midwest one, and we're going to do Dallas. So Midwest is Dallas, right? Um, so we're going to edit this to name it the associated client group is equal to Dallas, Dallas clients, right? So what we've done is we've put the client group or the cl clients from Dallas, any Dallas, into the mid Midwest group. So I click on OK, 
and if I click on um, Midwest group again I should see it there so let's just refresh yeah I still see it there obviously right um, yeah because I've changed you know I've automatically associated so what's another example so let me see my client see if I can find the I got the Unix client or client computers rather what is my D oh Dubai okay here we go so we're gonna set up a uh, client group called uh, Dubai or not Dubai but the Middle East and we're gonna put the Dubai clients inside of that right so we'll put here Middle East Middle East okay and we're gonna automatically associate we're gonna do the associated associated like spell right here associate client group right and equal to Dubai uh, Dubai Dubai clients yeah so there's nothing in there before obviously right so we're gonna click OK oh I need to do a scope uh, so I'm gonna do com serve propagate this com serve click OK and if we click on the Middle East now or Mid East right basically Middle East, okay. We'll see our Dubai. So this makes it again. This makes it easier for me to um, troubleshoot, to do pull reports, and say I have a hundred servers in the Middle East somewhere, right? Or let's say two hundred servers, whatever, right? I'm able to actually go here and I can pull reports. So I go like say view, uh, go up here actually. So I want to pull a report for say the Middle East, right? So I go to uh, reports I go to job summary then I just want to look at the the clients where's my thing at here here it is and what I'm after I'm after the job summary so I'm after the job summary and then I can go uh, back up jobs so let's say right maybe I could do calendar detailed I want to go under computers and I want to just see the Middle East I don't want to see all the other stuff. I mean, you can look at all this reports are here. You'd imagine the and each side of these clients, you have clients, 10, 20, 100, whatever it is. Um, that, that just gets so um, so much to to maintain or to to take a look at, right? Basically, um, any clients that are in the Middle East, they're going to get they're they're going to be looked at. Um, I can view the reports for them. So let's click here. Let's click run. So it doesn't matter the, the options. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, there's no. I didn't do a backup for it, but I probably see like no backups for this or whatever because nothing's happened. Uh, but there is. There's going to be some information when it pulls it up. Now this pulls up as a. Uh, like a website basically and it's all it is is it's an HTML on your com serve there's a folder that it saves it in uh, that your, your the reports pulling from or it's going to be placed in as you you know as you work uh, for a company as a, a backup admin or something like that storage admin um, disaster recovery admin network admin sys admin whatever in your role is managing you know these environments these convoluted environments this, these kind of things are really really helpful uh, for you because you don't want to, you want to just do your job and get done with it okay I want to go in and look at what's error what's faulted and then get out and then troubleshoot whatever it is like I want to fix that problem and then get out and this just makes it easier for you to look at everything as a whole reports um, just saves you so much time so much time And as you could see here, um, so we pulled the report. This is just general. So I'm looking at this um, client, right? And then all the information about it. Of course, there's no, uh, there's really no schedules, right? I don't have anything really going for it. So, um, but I mean, just imagine, right? Uh, this will just help you out actually in your day uh, when you have to troubleshoot this stuff and what's failed, what hasn't failed, whatever. So. So that's that's it, man. Um, 
you know, um, anything else I can think of here off this top for this video. But I don't think anything, actually. There's nothing I really can think about. If you like this video, or any other videos for that matter, and you want to actually get this course, you want to download it, you want to uh, research and, and try to um, learn, right? You can go to my web, you can go to the website, get an AI job in IT teachable.com or you can also go to the other which I have a course on on Commvault which is learn backup and restore the Commvault get a high paying job as well as the free one which is how to get your Commvault ver version 10 working in two hours or you can go to my course on Udemy which is learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job both of those uh, links I'll put in the show notes so I'd like to thank you everybody for watching this video and have yourself a great day.